Um, I wanted to make this video for anyone that wants to do uh, full metal uh, heat break for their Anycubic Cobra 2 Pro. This is the heat break. It's a bimetal, has titanium and brass. Um, I bought it on Amazon and it's in there uh, working quite fine. It fits in the stock heat block, but uh, once you put it in and you screw it back up, of course you'll have to cut the filament down a little bit, the tube, uh, to accommodate the difference uh, because the tube will be up too high if you put it back in uh, at that same length. So you have to cut the difference off. But you also will have to the sensor down there, the yellow sensor, you can see it right there. That will have to be adjusted down because when you put it back in, uh, the block and nozzle is a little bit further down. Uh, apparently there's a key that you can get uh, and download it and print that will make the sensor the right distance above or below the uh, nozzle, above the nozzle. Uh, so that uh, when you do auto bed leveling, uh, it will be correct and it will not pile drive into your bed. Apparently, many people have had that happen. Anyway, uh, these bimetal sensors, I'll have a, a description in the footnotes. Uh, they're only $14 for two of them. And uh, then you'll have a full metal, uh, which will allow your ability to have higher temperatures. I don't know if any cubic will allow you to do that, but we'll see. That's something I'm going to look into even further. Because I'd like to uh, print with other metals, or other uh, filaments, I mean, uh, like um, Teflon or things like that. So I hope you liked the video. I hope it's informative. Uh, it's an easy change. You just pull two screws out. Um, make sure that your block and your uh, heat break is uh, hot when you're taking it apart. It comes apart easily, but it has to be hot. Um, and then just put the new heat break in. Cut your tube to right length. Put it back in. Uh, and then, I mean, you don't even have to take the whole thing apart. Just take the front cover off, this front cover, take it off, uh, two screws in the back, and, and then uh, little clips are clipped there. You have to pop them off, and it comes right off. And there's a wire for the fan, so be careful of that. Um, and then you take two screws off, lower the block with the heat sink, or with the uh, heat brake. Change out the heat brake. By raising the temperature uh, of course you're gonna have to have something to hold it with because it's gonna be very hot uh, and then uh, put the new one in and you'll put it back in you'll be good to go once you adjust the sensor the little yellow sensor make sure that you lower it and before you even do it get the key uh, and download that and print that first so that you'll get it adjusted just right Okay, I uh, hope this helps. So if you want a all metal uh, hot end, then it's simple to have. All right, thank you.